up everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be showing y'all the nail art that i did to achieve these baby fat nails so this set was actually a filling from her last set and i didn't decide to record until i was ready for acrylic so right here i'm just putting on my dehydrator and my primer and then we'll get into the acrylic here i'm just starting to apply the acrylic and with the filling, I do file down most of the apex in the nail that was there before so that I can create a new one. So here, you know, I'll just put take a small bead to fill in that cuticle area, but also big enough to form a new apex for the nail. She did have some lifting, so that's why you can see a lot of the natural nail because I went through and clipped down all of the lifting and filed down until there were no more lifting. And you want to make sure that you get all of the lifting off because if you don't and you put acrylic on top, that could get moisture stuck in there. So that could cause what's called a greenie and get all the bacteria stuck in there. So here I'm also just putting acrylic towards the edge just to fill out and have the application looking smooth, make sure everything is right. This nail was actually broke, so this is a fresh tip that's on there, and I'm just going through with my regular application to fill out the whole. <laughs> my boyfriend over here being dumb, bro. Once I'm done with all the application, I just go in with my hand file and I clean up the shaping. I also did this before I put any application just to clean it up, but I'm just going back just to, you know, quickly just clean up everything. Then I will go through with my e file just to clean up the cuticle area and the freshly acrylic that I put on. And I will do the same on all of the nails.
Here, I'm just going through and buffing, and I like to buff with the rougher side and then the smoother side just to give more of a smoother surface on the top. Here I'll just go through and dust all of the dust particles off and then I will spray with some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down just to make sure there's no extra dust particles or anything to get ready to paint. This is basically just an alternative to having the clients wash their hands. Here I'm just going in with the polish and I'm just going in with the first layer for all the nails that will just have the regular color on them. And you'll also see me later go in with the second coat for these as well. Then we're getting into the nail art and I try to zoom in so that you guys can see more clearly what I'm doing and how I'm doing everything. But basically, as you saw a little bit earlier, I took the polish and put it on my little tray and I'm taking this nail brush, just dipping it in there and just trying to draw as best as I can. And I will mess up, you know, I'll use my, I have a little acetone right there to clean up. And these brushes, I believe I did put in the description box below. But as far as drawing nail art with regular polish, you do just want to make sure you have enough on your brush so that it is smooth. But also you want to make sure that you're cleaning your brush constantly so that it's not too much buildup and dried polish on the brush, which will make it all nasty, you know. So not really much that I can explain. I'll just let you guys go ahead and watch. But if you do have questions, don't hesitate to comment down below and ask me.
then i'm just going in with my black polish and this is kind of old video usually i like to use my acrylic paint now but this is my black polish and i'm just going in and outlining the cat and i did want to outline the words too but i didn't realize i should have did that until after i did the set so it was kind of too late but it would have looked much better if i did outline that Next, I went in with my OPI regular polish base coat and you see I only put this on the nails that are still showing bare acrylic. I didn't put these on the nails that I painted fully because I feel like the gel polish can peel off of the acrylic very easily so I like to have a barrier so that's why I only did those fingers. Then I'm just going through to add my diamonds. I'm using my gummy jelly from e -Nail Couture and I'm putting them... I just went ahead and just because I'm adding just a little bit of diamonds here and there. So I went ahead and did all the fingers at once. Then I went in with my top coat, my shellac gel top coat. And this is my holy grail top coat for working with um, regular polish because regular polish does crinkle up with gel top coats. But this gel top coat makes sure that it doesn't. So I just put that on top of the gummy jelly and then you'll see me add some diamonds here and there. And then I will cure this for 60 seconds and I did the same thing on the other hand. Once everything is cured, I go through and spray my rubbing alcohol and wipe it down because this is a wipe top coat so it does have a sticky layer on it and you have to wipe that off. And then once that is done, you guys know I have to add my cuticle oil so that's what I'm going ahead and doing right here. And this is the finished look. Like I said, the black outline on the wordings would have been so much cuter, so much better. Would have been more of a pop. But they still cute. And I just want to thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos y'all would like to see.